First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. So the way we're kind of going to do this, the um, top 40 through 26, yeah. um, we're not going to do in the normal, the normal fashion. Um, we're just kind of going to do just a brief overview of the team. Um, kind of the team name, their record, and kind of what um, what they did this season. So um, we did want to extend it out a little bit to the top 40, but um, just would be a much too long of a show uh, if we did the same what we do 25 through 1 mm -hmm. um, with that. So Justin's going to tell us about teams, um, the teams that were 40th through 36. So go ahead, Justin. Starting in the 40th spot is Team 1756 from Peoria, Illinois, Lampstone County High School. It's Argos. Over a record of nine and six, they were semifinalists at the Midwest Regional. Also winners of the Autonomous Award. So are you ready to move through these kind of quick? All right. Uh, following them up was uh, in the 39th spot, it seemed 4039 from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. St. Mary's Catholic Secondary School, it's makeshift robotics. Nine and seven overall with the semifinalists and winners of the Chairman's Award at the Durham College District event. In 38th spot, a team that we talked about earlier in the season in the in the uh, top 25 is team 2338 from Oswego, Illinois. Oswego and Oswego East High Schools is Garrett Ford with a record of 16 and one. Winners of the Midwest Regional as well as the Enduring Inspiration Award. So a little uh, cling bling there. On uh, the 37th spot was 865 from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Warp 7, 16 and three overall. Picked up a, a little bit more double gold cling bling at the Georgian College District event. Uh, where they also won the Chairman's Award. And finishing up the 36th spot is Team 1023 from Bedford, Michigan. Bedford High School, it's Bedford Express, 16-2 and two overall. And with the winners, the Jackson District event, where they also picked up uh, a little double gold clean bling, where they won the Chairman's Award as well. Hey, wow, quite a group, quite a good group you had here, Justin, uh, clean bling. Yeah, yeah, a lot of Chairman's Awards, a lot of great <laughs> records, 16 and 2, 16 and 3, 16 and 1. <laughs> so, yeah, and by uh, the a way, lot of really good teams. Chat, we did say we'd go fast uh, through 26. So, everybody's like, it's going so yeah. bad. Yeah, we, we, you know, we kind of just said that. So, but yeah, <laughs> nothing against these teams, just lots to go through, guys. Yeah. And glad to see, uh, glad to see Makeshift make it there. I think first time this season. Yes, yeah, definitely. We really like a lot um, from Canada. So, uh, glad to see them there at 39. For sure. Yeah. All right. So we're going to move on, and Christine's going to tell us about teams 35 through 31. Yep. So at 35, we have team 4910. So they're from Marietta, Georgia, and it and East Cobb Robotics. Um, so they had an overall ro record of 15 and 3, and they were finalists of the uh, Dalton District event and winners of the Autonomous Award down in the Petrie District. Um, at 34, surprisingly, we have team 33, which is insanely confusing when <laughs> we're talking about numbers, but... From Auburn Hills, Michigan, with Notre Dame Prep, it's the Killer Bees, and they had an overall record this season so far of 12-5, and five, and they were winners of the Gracious Professionalism Award and semifinalists at the Southfield District event. And then at 33, we have Team 1410. They're from Denver, Colorado, with George Washington High School, and they are the Kraken. They had an overall record of 15-1, and one, and they were the winners of the Utah Regional and the Entrepreneurship Award. And at 32, back to Michigan, we have Team 67 from Highland, Michigan with Huron Valley Schools. It's the hot team. And they had an overall record so far this season of 16-3. and three. And they were winners of the Milford District event and Innovation and Control Award winners there as well. And then one of my personal favorite teams at 31 from the great state of Texas, we have Team 2468 Appreciate. They're out of Austin hey. with Westlake High School. Yeah, Coach Norm. Uh, it's Team Appreciate. They're amazing. With a record of 15-3, and three, they were winners at the Greenville District event, and they were obvious winners of the Chairman's Award. So those are my teams, 35 through 31. It's time to majorly sell out. Let's do it, guys, with a huge Striker ad coming in. No, guys, Striker, uh, awesome company. If you had an opportunity, Striker, Striker, Striker. We'll just say it like 20 times, right? And then we get all of them done. And that's the way we go. But uh, guys, uh, once again, lots of downtime. If you're looking for internships, co-ops, uh, careers, even if you're just starting, if you're starting to graduate college, or if you're looking for a great new career out there, there is one out there for you. Uh, currently, just in Kalamazoo itself, 52 jobs available, but they have careers all around the world. Uh, Stryker, uh, as mentioned before, Nick Jr. and I got the tour of their facility, and wow, what an incredible place. 
state-of-the-art technology, state-of-the-art equipment. They treat their employees like gold, and they will support you for being in first. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about how you can work for a company that truly says, hey, guys, you're in first. We love that. We want you to go to first competitions. We want you to mentor. We want you to volunteer, and we'll support you doing it as an employer. Go check out careers.strykr.com forward slash first. Mike, can you tell us about the teams that we have in 30, taking us up to 26? Yeah, for sure. So starting off, uh, starting us out in 30th, it'll be 2471 from Camus, Washington, Washougal and Camus High Schools. It's Team Mean Machine. They had an overall record of 13-4, and four, and they were in the semifinals in the Clackamas District event. Up next in 29th is 3847 from Houston, Texas. And straight Jesuit College Prep, it's Spectrum. They had an overall record of 17-1, and one, and they were the winners of the Dripping Springs District event. From uh, in 28th, from New York, New York, it's Team 694, and Stuyvesant High School, it's Stipoles. Uh, the overall record of 15 to the Palmetto Regional. Did you, hear, did you hear that whole thing? Sorry. Just that last one you missed. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. So in 28th is uh, 694 from New York, New York, and Stuyvesant High School, it's Stuyvesant. An overall record of 15-0 and undefeated, and they were the winners of the Palmetto Regional. Underrated. <laughs> <laughs> in 27th is Team 8 from Palo Alto, California, and Palo Alto High School, it's Pally Robotics. They have an overall record of 14-2, and and they were the winners of the Utah Regional. And then from... And then in 26, from Arling Heights, Illinois, it's Team um, uh, N Township High School. It's Team 111, Wild Staying. An overall record of 10 and 4. And they were semifinalists of the Midwest Regional. So that takes us from top 40 to um, 26. Anybody in this group kind of stick out to you guys? Tyler, you think uh, Stipulse is a little. Uh, I do. My finger just hurts from clicking so fast more than anything. But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I yeah, I Stipulse should have should have been higher. Um, I I don't know. Like I, the interesting thing was because they're a New York team that ended up competing at Palmetto, um, and from what I've seen in some other ones, usually in the local polls, it tends to hurt them pretty bad. Because like like Stipulse, like I, I remember the week they competed. I think that was week one, right? Um, there's only two to pick from. So uh, is that um, I don't think they did very well in the uh, Northeastern uh, top 10 because of that. But usually that uh, that tends to not matter as much when it comes to the top 25. So, yeah, I was I was surprised not to see them a little bit higher, uh, probably um, 18, 19, something like that. I know they're undefeated. And you say, well, they're undefeated top team ever. And uh, maybe not. But I yeah, probably like seven. Yeah. 17, 17, 18. I'm just going to keep, every time I say something, I'm just going to drop them down next to rank. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, it's just so hard, right? There's only been, you know, two weeks of competition. So yeah. to, you know, really see the longevity and when you're doing a final top 25, you know, you don't have the six, seven weeks with district championships and, and um, um, all that, you know, and all that to really kind of really solidify these teams down. So there'll be, a, you know, obviously we have a lot of discussion going on in the chat right now. Uh, which is great, but you know, uh, Audrey's uh, correct me that they were ninth or tenth in the top ten, which is still way too low for what they are, regardless. Yeah. Tower, how many votes did we have this week? You know, five fifty-four. Dang. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> noise. Yeah. Just the days we used to manually input them all. Literally manually input them all, <laughs> and fifty was like a lot. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, it's yeah. gonna take forever. Five hundred and fifty-four. Oh, That's Insane. wild. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.